This is called The History Ain't Bright, The History's Miss Knowles. Uh, I guess this. <clears throat> I'm here to warn you all of a creature in our school. She's more foul than Simon Cowell and she's a dozen times more cruel. She's a schemer, a despot, a crafty cardboard cutout captor. Feast on the fear of first years like a blonde velociraptor and she'll slap you with a warning, muttering each and every morning for just saying hi or yawning any time that you walk past her. Nothing faster on two legs within the corridor she patrols. The history ain't bright. The history is Miss Knowles. And for five days every week, her form group shuffle into class, hoping she won't get competitive over another interform task. As she settles in her throne, her potent voice will ask, who'll help me win the sports day? Second place is as good as last. If the homework comes in late, her eyes grow dark and smoky. She shares a surname with Beyonce, but she's crap at karaoke. And woe betide you if you're jokey, woe betide you if you're giggling. Forget Snape from Harry Potter, she's the perfect head of Slytherin. A raise of brow, a lift of head. Head and half the class start piddling while she impales those she catches fiddling on heels from off her soles the history ain't bright the history's Miss Knowles that's right the history ain't bright the history's Miss Knowles she fills her drawers with tights in case the ones she wears get holes that is true uh, and uh, <laughs> along with a sense of boredom that pervades throughout the room lunchtime sushi fills the air almost every afternoon as she sits in her free periods she marks and thinks and swoons Imagines Jeremy Paxman would come and visit her in her room and you are doomed if you dare to distract from this immersion. She's got a huge set of lungs for such a little person. Don't go in there. Try reverse and hurry quickly. Save your souls. The history ain't bright. The history's Miss Knowles. Thank you very much. Cheers. Oh, thank you. <laughs>